U.S. rep Colin Allred uh, raised nearly $6.2 million in roughly the first two months of his campaign against U.S. Senator Ted Cruz. He also, tra- okay, we just read that. The numbers first shared uh, with the Texas Tribune mean Allred will, will report about $8.6 million in total receipts uh, between when he launched his Senate campaign on May 3rd and the end of the second quarter, which was June 30th. His campaign previously announced raising over $2 million in its first 36 hours. Allred's second quarter fundraising cements his uh, formidability as a fundraiser. Cruz's last Democratic opponent, Beto O'Rourke, was a fundraising juggernaut at the height of the race. But it took him his first three fundraising quarters, nine months, to raise the $6.2 million that Allred collected in 59 days. Oh. Well, again, lose Cruz. We got to get Cruz up out of here. Quote, since day one, this campaign has been about bringing people together to beat Ted Cruz and give this state the leadership it deserves. All Reds campaign manager Paige Hutchinson said in a statement, quote, we are amazed at the outpouring of support and are more confident than ever that we will have the resources to win next November and send Ted Cruz packing. Cruz has not released his second quarter fundraising numbers yet. The figures are not due to the Federal Election Commission until July 15th. Allred had 97,600 donors in the second quarter. According to his campaign, Allred's campaign did not release how much cash on hand his Senate account had after the second quarter. Cruz's re-election committee had a balance of $3.3 million after the first quarter. Just a little bit more. All Red's campaign also said the over $2.4 million that he transferred from his house account included direct funds and in-kind contributions or non-monetary contributions such as goods and services. The transfer underscores the considerable money All Red already had saved up when he entered the Senate race. His house account had $2.2 million cash on hand at the close of the first quarter. All right, so more contenders. All Red will likely face a contested Democratic primary to challenge Cruz. State Senator Roland Gutierrez of San Antonio is also expected to run. And State Rep Carl Sherman of DeSoto is newly considering a bid. Cruz is seeking his third term after a surprisingly close contest in 2018 when he defeated O'Rourke by three percentage points. Oh, yeah, we can definitely get Cruz up out of here. We absolutely can get this guy up out of here. O'Rourke shattered fundraising records in that contest, and Cruz has predicted his 2024 race will be similarly historic. Now, I mean, there, I, I, there's just there's just so many reasons to get Ted Cruz out of office. And I almost started going off on Ted Cruz about the reasons to get him off, but we all have other things to do today, so I decided against it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, we, we, we have other stuff to do. We'll just be here all week long talking about why we need to get, uh, um, what's it called, Ted Cruz out of office. 